I look like a true Tamara right now. <laughs> but, uh, uh, we're living for the natural face. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joy and Oasis. I wanted to like just do a video of me getting ready to record another video. We are quarantined right now and I'm just trying to find something to do. So I wanted to just sit down. Sit down, I'm standing. I wanted to just like chill, do my makeup and just talk to you guys about whatever comes up, you know. Yeah, so get your tea ready. I got my tea ready. So let's just call out the elephant in the room. I don't know if you're gonna be bothered about this, but she's new. So I'm just using a primer right now and I'm applying on <laughs> top. So what I really want to talk about is the coronavirus. Um, there are so many YouTube videos who don't want to use that word in their videos. I don't know why. We're just gonna call it the virus. <laughs> Many people are so confused about the situation and they don't know what to do. Like, we were caught off guard with this whole quarantine thing. Hold on, I'm getting my makeup wipes to wipe this mirror because it's dirty. Um, lots of people don't know how to even like approach this. Oh, and I tweezed my eyebrows today. I think I hurt myself right there so i'm gonna start with the eyebrows first that's what i always start with but anyway i was saying like people don't know what to do during this time like first we heard about the virus we we're like oh it's in china oh you know i hope everything is okay blah blah, blah. and then we realized that it's spreading and it's spreading fast we were not really kind of like aware that it will affect the whole world they announced that we have a case here in ukraine and i think it was the 12th of march that they said they were quarantined keep and then later they announced that it's i think i think it's everywhere in ukraine if not like some parts of ukraine were quarantined so we were caught off guard we had nobody to depend on other than ourselves and maybe some of our friends but you cannot even depend on your friends because they are also like looking out for themselves like, what are we supposed to do you need to get supplies okay we need to go to the shop you need to buy some food and stuff like that i won't lie it was kind of like calm here in my um town i'm not even doing my makeup right now <laughs> so it's it's been a week now and i'm honestly very interested in like what you guys think about this what you watching me thinks about this virus thing i mean like some people will be like there's nothing to think about because there's some people out there who are not even taking this serious at all like, you know some people are chilled there are other people who are just you know staying in faith and that's the other thing i want to talk about you know just praying about it and not really worrying about it just making sure they do whatever they can to keep safe you know as far as you can because you can protect yourself as far as you can with human beings these are my eyebrows i just tweeze them i'm happy that i tweeze them i'm gonna take like this black liner and just darken the edges of my eyebrow you know to give like a fade eyebrow but that's my favorite type of eyebrow anyway um let's move on to makeup okay this is just like a holographic highlighter thing that i use i just like apply it there with my booty blender the other thing that i also wanted to tell you about like what people are telling me about the coronavirus is that like some of my friends are saying that they heard from their friends in other places that it's more serious than what the media is like telling us and then other people say that it's not as serious so i'm also confused man what what, what you talking about some people are all conspiracy theory on this thing also like i was reading comments on um idris alba's post about him having the virus and people were like it's very odd and very weird that celebrities are now out of the blue getting it and they are not even in the public they are more isolated to themselves and how people are saying he's um was it his wife or sister or the lady was sitting next to him 
they were like um does she also have it and stuff like that it's also things to consider i guess i'm the type of person who doesn't really jump to conclusions like i like to listen and hear you out i like to hear like oh what you say about this also if you have to ask me what i think about the virus i would say that it is a serious thing i mean it's a disease some people are dying from it you should remember god is god god is king above all things and you think he doesn't know about this thing you think he doesn't know exactly what the cure is even like you think he doesn't know about it just because it's new to you doesn't mean it's new to him also i look weird with the dark circles on my eyes he sees everything he is king above all things and this virus is like nothing compared to like what he saved other people from that's why i like it when i don't know if you guys know marcus rogers but like i like watching his videos during this time because everybody be worrying it's good to worry no problem like worry cool you know but like when you're worried and you're like shaking and you're like what should i do and you're like trying to save yourself guys if you think this is weird watch the magic we understand that people are actually being madly affected by this but if you just make sure your faith is strong in christ something like this should not worry you i'm not saying ignore the virus i'm saying that you need to know who's in control and you need to know who's in charge because time is coming that the king is coming to take his pure brides you need to make sure you are right with him and you need to make sure that things like this should not even shake you instead you should go on your knees and pray for all those people who are being affected badly about this all those people who can't even isolate themselves and you know all those people who can't even have access to buy hand sanitizers and toilet papers i don't know why you guys are going crazy about toilet papers but yeah <laughs> all those people like you need to go on your knees and pray about that everyone is just worried about themselves during this situation but it hurts my heart to actually like see that not everyone is gonna have access to like um disinfectants and stuff like that to those people who probably catch the virus and they're homeless and stuff they probably think they have a simple flu and try to get rid of it the best way they know and then they realize that they can't really um fight it and you know yeah that pains me and see voila my dark circles are gone and guess what fun fact you guys i only started getting dark circles when i started medical school i'm serious i never had dark circles i never had to worry about dark circles until i started med school what does it tell you med school gives you dark circles <laughs> Lots of people are like flexing and like, mm, I got this, I bought this infected, I bought this and I bought that. I'm good for the virus and all that stuff. It's just like, okay, good for you, but you don't have to share it online. But anyway, like I said, I'm not taking this whole thing in a certain way. I'm going to leave it all to God. Whatever he says will happen. May his perfect will be done. And as a Christian, I just want to tell you that these are signs that the kingdom of God is at hand, like he is coming soon. The Bible is literally unfolding in front of our eyes and I pray, I pray that your eyes are open. Let me do my makeup. Uh, I don't want to wear foundation. I really don't wear foundation that much, but for the sake of the video. Oh, uh, maybe here. Now's the time to actually step in to like the spiritual realm because God's spirit is I can feel it that it's overflowing the whole wide world and God is just like waiting for you to go and be like I'm here God is like I want you I want you so yeah oh look how I look I look cute <laughs> I'm literally going to do this and end up not recording the video, I'm joking. It's 5.44pm. 
Oh yeah, and my school decided to start online school. So far, we are just having um, the language courses, like the English and the Ukrainian course. That's a good start. I, 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 thought, I thought we were not gonna have school. I thought my school was not gonna do online school. I fall wrong. To be honest, do I like wearing makeup? But I like the way I look when I wear makeup. Anyway, so what are you guys doing for like this time that you are at home? I hope like all of you that are like watching me are all safe and sound and snug and you know. But anyway, what are you guys doing? Me? I am watching Ozarks and just enjoying that show. This is gonna be a long video, but you know what? If you love me, you're gonna stay till this part and you're gonna give this video a thumbs up if you love me. Yeah, I wanted to talk about my <laughs> my channel. Quick disclaimer about this video that you're watching right now. This is not planned at all. Okay, about my channel, I get your comments. <laughs> yes, I get them. No, I mean like I receive your comments, but I realized, and I don't know if I should say this out loud, out loud, out loud for people who are shy, but I've realized something. There are people who comment on my videos and then they delete the comments. I've gotten that like plenty of times and I have the um, YouTube content. What's that app? How can I forget my favorite app? YouTube Studio app. <clears throat> I have that app and it shows me like whenever anybody comments on my video then when I go click on it comment is not available that means the person deleted the comment and how do I know the person deleted the comment and it's not me who restricted their comment because you can do that on YouTube but no I go back and I go check oh maybe the person said something in the blocked words or like the bad word section because you can block comments that use certain types of words no comment could be like i love the video or something like that and then they delete it i don't know how to feel about that to be honest why you delete your comment i love your comment i love receiving your comment i love the feeling that i'm talking to people i love it i love it a lot i love to interact with you guys please please do not delete the comment let me do asmr for you guys Oh my word, how is it? Oh, that doesn't look good. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a chopper. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a 22. <laughs> to be honest, this video is just to show my parents that I'm doing fine. <laughs> That's how I'm going to title this video. This video is to show my parents that I'm doing fine. No, I'm kidding, man. Okay, but right now, we're not even taking this video serious. We started out serious. We started talking about the virus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh, hey. But now, we're just like not being serious. I just wanted to ask you guys if you also use eyeshadow as highlighter because I do that Oh, I 
like this one. so you guys don't get to see how bad I look let's do that over <gasps> wow I look cute mm. this is actually my favorite part I personally love hair I like doing hair I like styling hair I love the transformation hair gives you like now I'm a skate girl You guys a tutorial on how I get my water oh, I did not hook that in. how I get my water wave hair I actually kind of like this it's a vibe yo you guys I might save the how to get water wave hair because I really like this a lot oh my goodness I look like a doll Hey, it's Samantha. <laughs> I think this is cute. You don't think this is cute? I'm gonna take pictures first, yeah. <laughs> 